ever since I faced her, I've been wrestling. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube of me, you know, kicking ass. So maybe I did scare her. Now I'm looking forward to whoever dares step in the ring with me. And uh, just... Uh, I'm so sorry for who I, it is. Well, I'll tell you what, I've, I've got a, some scoop right here on uh, who the opponents can be. Yeah. I'm going to be hiding from you. I don't care if it's a man, a woman, a midget, or a specify. I'll, I'll take whoever. You, you know what I think will be good? We should put Alan there with you, Alita. Yeah, I'll bet he's fun, too. <laughs> or or how, about, how about his fiance Penny? What would you what? do to her if you got her in the ring, Alita? What? I'll I, I tell you what. No contact order. You're lucky. I'll tell you, yeah, you can probably whoop my butt in the ring and stuff like that, but right now you're, 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 you're pressing it. You're pressing it. Uh, luckily, there's a gag order. We, we ain't allowed to say who the possible opponents are. So uh, if the NFW Nation wants to know who uh, her opponents possibly can be, they're going to wait until March 24th at Records Revenge at the Metro Sports Center here in Amazon, Indiana. So we have to wait until then to find out who your opponent's going to be. It's Charles? It's to know who it is because I'll keep training just as hard. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Charles, it's your turn, Charles. Please go. Okay. Hey, Alita, I want to ask you. I know you're training at OVW. And uh, is it safe to say, is Nick Dinsmore your trainer? Yeah, mostly. Now, let me ask you, Alita, how long, how many sessions do you have a week? And how long does a session usually go? Uh, two sessions a week. It's uh, Monday and Tuesday from 5 to 8. Mm hmm. I also go to the gym every now and then. Right. Now, how many right. nights... Excuse me, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I also go to the gym and make sure I can lift as much as I can, so, you know, there's no problem. Right. Now, I want to ask you, how many nights a week are you wrestling? Because I know you wrestle uh, quite a bit. Uh, weekly, either one or two. Wow. And I did go to... I did go to MLW last week, so I had like three matches in one day. It was really fun. Wow, that uh, sounds like a good time. I did leave some bruises and scars. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you said you worked out in the gym. How many, how many days a week are you uh, lifting weights and working your body? Uh, roughly like three. But I'm, I'm working on stepping it up. Right. And how, many, how, how long do you stay in the gym, Melita? Uh, when I go, I just stay for a while, maybe two hours, three hours. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Would, would, it be, would it be okay if I ask you how much you're lifting right now, or would you rather not tell me? Uh, last time, I squatted like 190. Wow, that, that's really good for a lady your size. Yeah. Well, you are. You, you're the Latin beast for sure, I mean. Yeah. What, what is your goals? Is it to get to WWE, or what, what do you want to do? I do not care about becoming a diva or a knockout. I just want to become the best wrestler I can be. Uh, my goal would be Shimmer and to move to Japan and train with, you know, people that take wrestling seriously. That's what I was going to ask you if you had any uh, concern or want to go to Japan because I think you would be awesome in Japan. Yeah, I've also been suggested to go to Mexico, but uh, Japan has always been, you know, the goal. Yeah, in Japan, you, you have to have a lot of discipline, and I know you've got that right now, and so I think you would do great over there. Who's, who's some of the ladies in the Orient that you would like to wrestle? Where, here or Japan? No, over in Japan. Over in Japan, I like Kana, uh, Shuri. Uh, I like uh, Tushi Wimatsu. I'm not sure if she retired, though. Mm-hmm. Now, what would you say thus far, who has been, what's been your toughest match? Toughest? Mm-hmm. Um, I think Epiphany at UWF. She was pretty tough. She got me in the end, but I gave her quite a fight. I got you. Now, I'm going to ask you what I ask a lot of people. What is the most memorable match and probably your favorite match that you've done thus far? Thus far, I wrestled Mischief. Mm-hmm. You know Mischief? Oh, absolutely. I sure do. Yeah, she tried uh, giving me the, the green mist, but mm -hmm. she failed, and she got my black hole slam. Wow, now that was recently. Am 
Lamar, correct? Yeah, last week. Wow. And was that in Memphis? Uh, yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. Wow, so, so you are getting out pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying to branch out. I don't like staying in one area. I got you. Now, let me ask you this. After you feel like you've completed OVW, mm -hmm. do you plan on going to other parts of the, the state or, other, or, excuse me, other parts of the country and possibly overseas? Uh, maybe Mexico, Australia, Canada, everywhere where wrestling is, you know, tougher. Like, no, they emphasize the diva here, and I'm not a big fan of that. So wherever I can get a good fight and be a wrestler, I will be. Right, I got you. Uh, I want to ask you this, too, and then I'll let Al or Rich uh, ask you a couple questions. Mm-hmm. When you go into a match, what what's usually on your mind? Are you just going out there to just kick some serious butt? Is that what you're thinking? I do like to inflict the pain, but ultimate goal is to win. I got you. Okay, I'm going to ask you one more. And uh, do you do you want to go? Are you looking forward? I guess I should ask you to going back to Puerto Rico to your home country and wrestling. Yeah, that's another one of my goals, because I never really got the chance to wrestle there. Uh, I would like to come back a tougher competitor and get my all and give a good show. Well, I think you're ready to do that. In eight, eight short months, you really come a long way. And, uh, of course, you got a great teacher, I think, the world, Nick Dinsmore, and uh, yeah. he can be a tough guy. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, Rich, would you like to ask Alita a question? I tell you, Alita, what would, uh, how would you describe yourself different from the Divas? Uh, I don't care about becoming stick thin. I want to become as muscular as I can be. I will not be screaming like a girl anytime soon or showing my skin. I focus more on wrestling. See, that, that, that's one thing I really like about you is is you are a wrestler, and you're, yeah. not, you're, you're not one of these, uh, you don't have to go out there and roll around and scream to get over. No, you, no I don't. You, you've already got over. Uh, I guess the one more thing, uh, for those of you, for people who might not know, uh, I do. Uh, you spoke about Sarah Del Rey being one of your favorites. Yeah, Sarah Del Rey is definitely the, the hero one, the, the one that inspires me the most and that I wish to be most like. What what would your philosophy be in the ring against Sarah Del Rey? My what? But what would your game plan be against Sarah Del Rey if you were to wrestle her today? I would like to brawl and sweat and just inflict as much pain as possible and hit her hard and bust some ass. Let's see, I told you she's good, Al. <laughs> okay, uh, Alita. Yeah, as we know, March 24th, NFW presents Reckless Revenge here at the Metro Sports Center in Evansville, Indiana. There's a NFW World Title Rumble. Now, you have said before, you're not afraid of any guy, any girl, anybody. So, yeah. with that being said, does that mean that you're interested in actually being a participant in the Rumble? I wouldn't mind. I will beat them up as much as any girl. Okay. Well, I... Uh, I you, you tell me to, to go in, I will go in and Excuse me? just make them suffer. Make them suffer. Yeah, I admit that. You are one tough competitor. I can't take that away from you. Uh, Alita, yeah. I think uh, we're about done. If Rich, you got something to say? Uh, if you have any last words, Alita. For an FW uh, Nation, let them jerks hear it. Uh, I moved from Puerto Rico to make a name for myself, so I'm doing that. And I hope you enjoy the ride as much as I am doing it. Uh... My plan is definitely to make it big, big, and I don't know. I appreciate everybody that supports me, and I'm very grateful for it. I got one more question for you, if you don't mind, Alita, before you go. I don't mind at all. Do you speak a lot of inflicting pain and hurting people? Is it safe to say that you that you have that you have a, an arsenal of a submission holes? I have a couple. I'm still learning. I'm fresh. 
So I think you should really pursue this Japan thing, and I'm I'm very honored to talk to you, and I wish you all the luck the 24th. I know you won't need any luck, but we'll be looking forward to seeing you, and uh, all the people at NFW will be waiting to see you, and uh, I like that. Like I said, once again, thanks for uh, gracing us with your presence here at the Love Shack, and uh, we hope to talk to you and see you many more times ahead. I look forward to the show as well, uh, saying hi to the fans and making the best match in me. Thank, Thank you, you so for having much. me. You're Thank very you. welcome. You have a nice evening. You have a nice evening, Alita. You too. Right, bye. bye bye. She's gonna hurt you so bad. You know. <laughs> you know what's so bad? She's talented. She's very talented, and she she's not afraid of any woman, any man, and and you know she she can go somewhere, and she is going somewhere. But I tell you what, with the Rich Revolution, I tell you what, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's just like I don't know. I really, Who else you gonna get? I don't know. I really think that Nick ought to get in there with her. I really think. Uh, I enjoy she, it. She, she wouldn't, she wouldn't back down from anybody. I know. Now, like I said, NFW presents Rakers Revenge. You know, we've got great matches. We got T-Bolt going up against Eugene. We've like got. Jay Mills and the Iron Man Rob Conway tag team, in which is going to be an interesting combination, <laughs> going up against Victor Bruce Lewis and you. So you think it's the Iron Man Rob Conway? As, I, as I've done said, and every time I tell anybody a thing, I'm, I'm right. The Iron Man will join a revolution. That, that's scary because so far I've never <coughs> predicted something. It's actually happened, man. That is scary, but I don't know. I'll show you the text. Oh. Hey, Charles? Yes, sir. What do you think about the Iron Man and Jay Mills? Well, I tell you what, that's that's a real strong combination right there. You got the you got the uh, experience and you've got the youth. So you know, I mean, uh, those are both strong guys. It can, it can mean trouble. It yeah. doesn't mean trouble to me at all. <laughs> I mean, the Iron Man's going to be at the Revolution. It means trouble for Jay Mills. Yeah. Well, let's run over to the fat lady sings and. Uh, you shouldn't talk that way about people. Charles. She's choking on a roll of swami right now, Rich. Yeah. You know that girl too, huh? We got other great matches too, Charles. We got uh, Drake Younger going against JP Lightning. Drake's we got really good. He should join the RR. And you're wanting everybody to join there. Drake should join. But, uh, JP, I don't know a whole lot about. Then we got, got uh, life, my son, the Canadian kid, Who part cheated. of Team Sexy, not Rich Revolution. Who cheated this past weekend? Going up against. Dyron Flynn, which is another great competitor, and I don't know what's wrong with him either. Did but you see Dyron totally lay those guys away since past he, week? I, he's tough. I admit he's tough. He's tough. He's going to kill your kid. And we've got other great matches going on, too. Plus, uh, we got uh, Gator McAllister <coughs> going to be there. He should be. I can't him. wait. To he, to, oh, man. You're wanting everybody. Like he, you said. He's good buddies. i tell you what. Rich. Yeah. You, you Who's all going to be in the rubble? Go ahead and say it. In the rubble. You, know uh, you have Master Rich. Uh, Master Rich. I mean, the guy's going to win at Master Rich. Uh, Alita Ortiz will, will be in there. Uh, Dyron Flynn. Johnny Whiplash. Uh, your kid. Canadian <laughs> kid. He'll be in there long, but he'll be Who there. has victories over uh, you? Because of a certain referee. But it, you're in the Rumble. You're in the Rumble. Yeah. I can't wait for that. Uh, Vic the Bruiser's in the Rumble. Rob Conway's in the Rumble. Flash Flanagan, the Defector, is in the Rumble. Bobo, Scotty, uh, Charmin Charles, I wish he is in there, so I'd kick him in the face, too. Uh, this kid, Nick Iggy, and let me tell you something about Nick Iggy. Nick yeah, Iggy, I, I've heard a lot of words on him, or a lot of good things about him. This Friday night in Nashville, Tennessee, for the Wounded Warrior Project, I have you one-on-one. -on -one. So if you get past me this Friday, I'll see you the 24th. But do you know who your ref might be? Uh, I hope it's not who I think Charles, it's. you know who the ref's going to be for that match? Well, then, for this Friday night at the NW Main, main Event Arena, uh, 1056 East Trinity Lane, yeah. Nashville, Tennessee, yeah. I sure do, Al. I'm talking to him. It's you, Albert. Hey, Thank you. And no contact order don't pertain to in, up there, only down here. You might not make it to the 24th either, then. Okay. Uh, Bobo Brazil Jr., Flash Flanagan, Hardcore Cowboy Scotty Wolf. He's a jerk. He's a cheater. Everybody's a jerk. You just not even rich revolution. I, I tell you what, I, Charles, I'm, I'm about done. I, I've about had enough. Oh, I'm, I'm having a good time. We're buddies. Charles, I'll tell, tell, tell you what. You had the first word. You want to get the last word. You got something for the NFW Nation to say? Go right ahead. The floor is all yours. So I'm done. I'm done. I, I wish Penny was here because I'm getting pretty hungry, actually. You're not that good of a guest. Oh. A host. Oh. Charles? Yes, sir. Hi, Charles. 
I want to say this before I, I do my thing, Albert. Yeah, please. I want to tell everybody that please come out to the Metro Center the 24th. We're going to have a heck of a time. We're going to have a real big night. And we want to invite everybody up to Nashville, Tennessee this Friday night, March the 16th. Jerry the King Lawler versus Tommy Dreamer. Where is the best go? Master Rich. The list goes on and on and on. And another thing I want to say, too, this has not got a thing to do with uh, Indiana wrestling or Tennessee, but I want to say a uh, shout-out to my friends in Oklahoma, man. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but as of March 31st, all combative sports, that includes professional wrestling, is banned in the state of Oklahoma. No kidding. Yeah, and I think that's crap myself, but hey, you know, like hopefully they'll get it together, I mean, mm -hmm. and reinstate it, but I, you know, it's just, I got a lot of buddies out there, spent a lot of time in Oklahoma, and I just hate to see that happen, you know, but yeah, hopefully right. by the grace of God they'll get it worked out and the ban will be lifted. But right now in FW Nation, just remember this right here. No, don't do that. Do not no, fight no, amongst don't, yourself. Don't do that. God, that's so stupid. These are fighting to us. Shut up! Please shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Where's the food? If you see a faded sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the...